So I've got my two files. I've got my Hulk 2 Unreal and my um, my animation, my idle to Unreal. And uh, I'm just going to go into my third person project here. And under content, I'm going to make a new f uh, folder and call it Hulk. And then within that folder, import my Hulk to Unreal file. And it did not like that. 90, 90 KB. Hmm. And it is not liking this import. I see animation. Should have re-imported, I guess. Or I re export it. No. The Hulk mesh was a bad idea. But we're, we're dealing with it. Um, man, I've had more trouble during this lecture. Let me tell you. So why do these need to be pre-planned? Well, you know, I usually get... Why did that... Why, don't tell me I saved over that. Whoops. Yeah, whoops is right. <laughs> Here's a stick of this, I saw him. Yeah. So I'm just going to cruise through the rest of this lecture. Um, all I'm going to do is get this into Unreal. So you guys just, this has got major problems, um, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to do it. So you guys that were following along with me, just for now, I'm recording this video, so just hang back and watch, and I'll just, I'll just walk through this. We've already technically done what I'm going to show you anyway. We're just doing it uh, a little bit differently because this Hulk has the control rig on it. Okay, so I just tried to import that Hulk into Unreal, and as you know, it gave me some weird error, and I don't know what the hell that even means. So I'm going to um, just, I didn't save my files or something, so I'm just going to re-rig this dude. Um, so I'll go to source script, and I'm going to pull in my Python script again. and rig this guy. So now he's rigged. So I'm going to export him a different way. I'm just going to go to export all. You have no root bone. Oh yeah, I don't have I have no root bone. That's right. So I'll turn on my layer with the joints and make it to where I can grab the joints and I'll just quickly add a root bone. And then I'll scale up the radius. I hit Control A, pulled up my attribute editor, scale up the radius, call this root, and I'm going to parent my hip to it. So now I can export the Hulk, file export all, change it to FBX. I'm going to make a new Hulk folder here on my desktop. And I'll call this Hulk. And I want smoothing groups on, no animation, nothing else but embed media, export all. Did you say you had to export it with the script? I don't know. Uh, yes, I did say that, um, but I'm doing it a different way. So now I have the Hulk here. I'm going to import my animation from, um, from Mixamo. So I'll go to the Animation tab, Import Animation to Control Rig. I believe that's in Documents Download. Downloads. Import my idle. Now this time I'm going to export it using the same way. Here's my idle. 
file, export all again. This time I'm going to turn animation on, baked animation on, and change the frames to 96 frames. And I will call this, go to my Hulk folder, and I'm going to call this idle and export it. All right, now I'll go into Unreal, and in my Hulk folder, import the Hulk. Now we have success, import all. It's gonna complain about some stuff, but that's okay. Double click on Mr. Hulk here. He is tiny. <laughs> oh. Oh, <it's> smash. <sighs> what a pain in the butt. Um, Just got to muck him in here. Yeah. <coughs> Am I a dragon? Yeah. So here's the Hulk in the editor. Throw it right here. He's tiny. Uh, so this Hulk has no animation list. So what we want to do is we can, we can scale this guy up in the editor. So we'll just I'll scale him up in the editor. Um, but what we need to do is uh, yeah. I don't know. So what we need to do is uh, convert. Remember, our mannequin here has an animation list. And what we like to do is um, take his animations and put them on the Hulk. So under content, I type in third to pull up the searches for third person anim BP. Then I right click on that, retarget anim blueprints, duplicate anim blueprints, and retarget. Uncheck these boxes, click the Hulk skeleton. I don't know, I'm just going to keep all these checked. I don't know what they mean, but retarget. Just hit OK. And it creates a new uh, third person animation blueprint and new animations for the Hulk. So I rename the animation blueprint to Hulk animation blueprint. And again, all this is in the last video. So I'm, I'm not showing you guys anything different than what I showed you last time. It's just we're doing it with the um, the Mixamo stuff. So now if I click on this, so now my Hulk has an animation list. And now all we do is, again he's tiny, but all we do is right click on the idle, re-import animation, and import that idle. And it's going to complain, but so now there's the Hulk. He's tiny, but You're doing it. he's in there. And you hit save. And then what you can do is you can go into your Hulk directory, throw in the itty bitty Hulk, <laughs> and um, it's flat as a pancake. But you should be able to scale him up. So there he is in there. And actually, um, if I type in our third person character, we want to swap this guy out for the third person character. I'll s select the mesh here and change it to Hulk. And he's tiny, so I'll scale him up in here. And then I'll use the animation blueprint Hulk and MVP. Compile and save. So Hulk is our main character. And again, he. 
helicopter. I'm a helicopter. <laughs> but as you guys know, you just so what you would do is you just go to Mixamo and uh, you know you get the other animations, export them, go into Maya, use that importer, import the animations, then just export them out of here the way I just showed you, and then you just open up the Hulk. Um, and then once you get to the animation list, you just swap out these animations, and eventually, Homeboy will be um, <coughs> running around and actually playing his animations. So, and it looks like, uh, yeah, his feet are on the floor, so that's good. Is it auto creating a blend space between T box and Idle? That's kind of cool. Uh, yes, it's a uh, an animation <laughs> blending. I appreciate that. Any questions on this? So uh, I'm, I'm sure you guys are wondering, like, why the hell would we do all, go through all this stuff? Um, you know, because the last lecture that we did last class was, like, way easier um, to do character stuff. Well, the reason is this character, um, these character controls. So when you import the animations, export the animations from Mixamo into Maya, these character controllers give you access to tweak these animations. So if you need to make custom adjustments, um, or do custom animations, you have the controls there to do it. And then you still have the pipeline to Unreal. Yeah. I got a whole class for that. So um, I hope that made sense.